Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new OMSI video. Today we're going to be driving the B5 L H Gemini 3 body bus bing on the number 12 on West Country 3 which is a map that came out very recently. Oh hello over 12 and yeah that's just what we're going to be driving today. We're going to be driving number 12 from the harbour up to the hospital and I think that might be the 12 behind us. That's currently there. Yeah it is. Bam. From Stonely sorry and this person wants a ticket. Uh, £2.40, and you want that, then you want that, and then you want that. Maybe not one of those. Please just take the money and leave. No, uh, thank you very there much. There we go. Just a single, please drive. Oh, why do you want a ticket too? I drove this route earlier, and then no one wanted a ticket. Um, unless there's been a price reduction. Just take the money and leave. Oh, I think give me a you, day rider, mate. you want a day rider, okay. Oh, that's easy money to give back. And, oh, you don't want anything. Okay, bam. Away we go. So this route is a pretty nice route. I enjoy it. It's just me. It's a lot of um, high-speed driving, to be honest. Number 12 is, because it's just along a dual carriageway for a bit. So, hopefully it's all good. I hope everyone's enjoying having a nice day today. Um... I know I've been. I've mainly just honestly been playing this West Country map so often at the moment. It's it's really... I'm finding a lot of enjoyment on it at the moment. Because a lot of routes to drive, a lot of miles to do, and it looks pretty nice. There's a lot of sections of it where it just looks really pretty. Can I have an all-day ticket? You want an all-day ticket? Of course you can, mate. Uh, there you go. And there's your £2 change. Should I be indicating right then to leave that bus stop since I'm going sh left straight away? I'm not sure. There we go. And away we go. And over to speed bump. Okay, now this way we go. Bam. So, I'm remembering this route off route knowledge of driving it a couple times. So, there is going to be a high chance that we're going to drive the wrong way at one point. So, hopefully we don't. Because I really dislike having the route arrows on the screen. Because I feel like it just makes the video a little bit more... Just a little bit more worse quality, in my opinion. Also gives me more of a challenge to try and route learn more routes when driving the videos. I'm thinking of doing more West Country maps, by the way, uh, route, sorry, because we've got the option to do the 35, the X35, and the 100, as well as the 122, which I might wait until a single deck comes out, because I feel like the 12 as well, but I feel like the 12 and the 122 would either be single deckers or open toppers. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, we're using a repaint pack that I found off Fellow Films, and I've already forgotten the name of it. But there will be probably a link in the description to the map. And probably the repaint pack is on the description. If not, I am very sorry. But just search West Country 3 on B on um, Fellows Film. And you should get a link to it. Okay, and now this is where the dual carriageway begins. I think that says 3 miles until Paynton. Not really certain. But it's 40 miles per hour from now. And... Luckily, we don't have to care about going above 40 miles per hour since this bus is limited to about 40 miles per hour. So it makes this bit a little bit, um, a little bit, bit boring. But other than that, the rest of the route is okay in this bus. There we go. Just got to hold my pet foot to the pedal down for some time now. Oh, there's a 30 limit here. I'm guessing it's because there's a roundabout coming up. Hello, other bus. And that's a 122. Or it could be another 12. I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, we are going pretty fast now. Go 
Gotta make sure we'll just merge into this lane. We'll just take both lanes up so we don't have a problem with any other cars. I feel like this road would be very busy and not quite, not a nice road to live on since it connects two places along the coastline. So there be a lot of traffic along here in the summer times. Oh, please go. That's an AI bus in front of us. Maybe that's where all our passengers are going. They're all jumping on the AI bus. Hello, mate. Hiya. Ooh, give me a day ride. Day ride too. And you're giving me the exact change. Thank you. Good sir. We can't overtake him. And bam. Away we go, following the 122. We actually, the 12 and the 122 feel they have very similar routes, except for a couple of differences as this bus in front of us will go into the holiday park whilst we'll go around it at full speed. Okay, so it seems this bus is going to be parking here, so I'm just going to do a quick overtake here. And get around him and onto the roundabout. Bam. Full power, full speed for a couple of miles. That's something I like about a full, like this kind of dual carriage right bit. Like, really makes me enjoy these routes because it's not. I'm currently. I've been driving the London DLC map quite a lot now uh, since it came out, and I've, I've been getting used to just slow city driving, but this is, this is a lot more fun. Going full speed. On a countryside road, dual carriageway. Like the 35 really does show, it. even the X35, which I feel like would be a very, an okay video because you can just, I'll get an MMC and we'll just go full speed along the whole route. Because that'll be fun to do, I feel. I've been driving that a couple of times now, so we'll drive that and I'll never livery. I'll find a livery for that. But yeah, it's just, it's just been nice driving just full speed along a dual carriageway. Gotta make sure I don't like go on the edge too much. Just mainly concentrating on make sure I'm not di like diverting off. Gotta concentrate on trying to make sure that I follow the load lines, check my mirror as often as I can, make sure there's no cars trying to cut me off. This fella might try and cut me off. But we're now entering the city life of some form. Which has some slow roads. But then it also has a couple of roads where it's just full speed at all times. Which is really nice. I really like the um, the level of uh, like the road system in this, in this map. Just checking how late we are. Because I always start my routes a bit late. So that we don't have to sit around at any bus stops for like 10 minutes. So I just find that's really boring. It does mean sometimes there's less people on the at bus stops. But I think this route just has less people using it anyway. Hiya, how you doing? Welcome on board. Let's wait until he sits down. Ah, that's close enough. Away we go. Ah, oh, I should have took a screenshot along the dual carriage right That could have looked cool. I think I'll take one in the city centre for the thumbnail. Okay, we're going to say that was green. Because I don't want to wait at a red light. This one takes quite some time. So that was green, guys. Okay. I'll edit over it so it's just green. 
I'll make the whole, should I just make the whole screen green? I'll do that, yeah. And I'll also keep this bit of me talking about what I'm going to edit that section in. There we go. Oh, I'm going 40, nearly. There we go, I need to be at 30. Going along the seafront here. Nice little seafront road. I wonder if, I really want to go on holiday this year, maybe. Don't know. Last year I was gonna go on, gonna go to the coast, go on holiday and whatnot. But his plans kind of got uh, cancelled by the um, th th that big uh, problem that we had over the whole of last year. But it seems like the UK, the UK at least, could be back to normal over the summer holidays, which is crazy when you think about it. Is there another, Is there a piece of change there? Single, please. There is. Single. It's all right. There's plenty of fish in the sea. See, it, it's just oh, hello, fire engine. It's just why Natural Express is just a really good bus company because you can only have exact fares. So that means you don't have to hassle around at bus stops with the driver giving you change, which could make the bus late. Also, is that someone getting off? I have no idea if that was a doorbell. Oh, I locked my wheel. There we go. Unlocked it. Okay, I don't see anyone. So I don't think that was my doorbell. But not doorbell, like uh, the stop button. I also have gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. I was driving the 122 in my head. We're going to have to do a U-turn somewhere. Yeah, we're going to have to do a U-turn. It's roundabout. That's awkward. Let's just send it around this roundabout quickly. I knew I was meant to turn off. I knew I was going to miss a turning. I right, just squeezing it. There we go. Ah, oh, it's typical. <laughs> I've been driving this route a couple of times, and then the one time I record, I go the wrong way. Luckily, it's not that much of a bad bit. It's only a small little diversion. It's going to add some more delay onto our service. We're meant to go off this way. Hello, over 12. See, if that bus was there earlier, then I would have remembered to turn off then. I'm blaming it all on that bus, not just my incompetent driving. Nice, green light, pog. And now we're in like the Paynton town area. To show no one wants to get on and off there, that'll be a nice place to take a screenshot. And into the bus lane thing. This is a cool junction to be honest. But you do get stuck here for some time. So I will skip this bit out of the video like I've done with the other traffic lights. Also ignore that we are a bit into this taxi. And it's turning to green. That means we can continue going onwards if this taxi would move, thank you. This junction's cool because it's got like a little bus lane bit where it allows the buses and taxis because they drive in this lane to just merge over. Like this. Bam. I always forget which stop is for which bus. So I'm just going to overtake this bus and just hope. Wait, where are you stopping? Oh, I'm stopping there. Okay. Bam. I could get a cool photo here, I think. Wait. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, there's a truck in the way. Bam. Hi. Also, you guys should sit down for me, okay? Okay, everyone sit down for me. Come on, why have you, why have you got you such an awkward seat? Oh, ah. Okay, bam. Two screenshots taken. Two opportunities for thumbnails. I'm just gonna quickly merge into this lane because I don't want to waste at the red light. That's what you call sneaky driving there. 
And now we go back to 40 miles per hour. Let's go on the ring road thing. Yeah, it is a ring road. And we go on the overtake. And that car is a lot more faster than me accelerating. And also max speed. But it's okay because we need to be in the right lane anyway for this roundabout, as I know of. That's what the root arrows say, but I think you probably could be in the left lane for this roundabout. Don't you dare merge onto me, car. I'm just going to continue at 40 so it doesn't merge into me. But yeah, since this is only, fa from what I know of, this is only phase one of two of this map, it's really good from what I've driven. There's a lot of miles on it, I think I mentioned early in the video. It's it's just fun. I can't wait. There's going to be so many more. Apparently, it's going to be like four more routes. So I'll have to fact check me on this, but this is what I've been told by people. But it means it's going to be a very cool, very cool, cool add-on. Seeing as the quality so far is okay. It's a bit of problems here and there, but they're problems that you're like easy, easy, easier, easy to like ignore. Like you can kind of see the edge of the world there. Um, oh, that road arrow line bit, not a fan of there. We are being very lucky with these traffic lights right now. Oh, you're coming this way with me. Wait, oh, can we, do we fit underneath us? Okay, yeah, we do, good few. <laughs> 15 feet and three inches, I think that was then. I think we're like 14 and two. Um. Oh, oh. There we go. Don't know where it says that, What? how tall we are. I'm not sure. But anyway, as we open the doors, that's the end of this video and the end of this route. Um, we did okay, to be honest. Um, we left nine minutes late. We got ten minutes late at that point. But then we finished the route nice with a nice three minutes late. So we caught up a nice bit on the speeding bit. But anyway... Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next video.